So uh, I'm doing great, actually. Feeling good. Feeling every bit of those carries right now. Is that just the best you felt uh, all season long with kind of the ups and downs you've gone through? Um, I'm not sure because we won games that was kind of tough, but um, I, I can say that it was it was more gratifying because you know it's God's time and the moment it, the time is now. You know we in the playoffs and uh, and, and you know we we had some struggles uh, some struggles and some adversity you know during the season up up and down with the run game and everything like that. But uh, like I always say, uh, that's God's time and not man's. We've heard a lot of people say this game kind of felt like Seahawks football with the run game and the defense. Well, definitely, I mean, yeah. Most definitely. I think uh, offensively, defensively, um, even in the uh, kicking game, you know, we, we had our identity. We wanted to run the ball. We wanted to do it on the ground. We wanted to maintain our identity and uh, stay true. And that's exactly what we did and uh, showed. And tonight, you know, we had a great prep uh, a great week of preparation also. You know, we've been running the ball. The offensive line been doing a great job, tremendous job. And we know the defense is going to uh, hold, hold us down. And uh, those guys did a great job. Break Marshawn Lynch's postseason. Mean a lot, you know. Marshawn, Marshawn Lynch. Looked up to him, still do, still communicate with him, still talk to him. Just over time, I'll just reminisce back when I was younger, just watching him. Like man, hopefully one day, and that day is now. So, uh, you know, it, it's a very. It, I'm kind of lost for words, man. I, I just. I'm so grateful for the opportunity, man, just to be a part of this whole organization. I'm just a kid from Flint, man. Nothing special. I'm a kid from Flint just with a lot of heart and toughness and just want to go as far as I can. When's the last time you talked to Marshawn? Um, <clears throat> I think uh, maybe a few weeks ago. Yeah, just, he was just, you know, he came he came over by the building, and, you know, I got a chance to talk to him, and, and, and you know, he just wanted to make sure that my mom was right going into this uh, into, into the uh, playoffs and everything like that. But other than that, I mean, he just, just Marshawn. You see Russell coming downfield blocking for you on that long. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. But you know what? Uh, we, we practiced that. You know, it doesn't matter all because he's a quarterback. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people was wondering why he did it. But, you know, it just, it just showed a determination and a, a guy who's so unselfish and a guy who, who wants to win. It doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter who got it or, or who's blocking. It doesn't matter. We all are here together. And, and, um, I'm so I'm so thankful that a guy next to me uh, is, is thinking of me that way too. When you got in the end zone, it seemed like you jumped out ten feet in the air, like maybe twice in that span. Once you got in the end zone, just what was going through your head? I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm like I told you, I'm still a kid from Flint, Michigan. I, when I get excited, I jump around a lot, as y'all can see, and, and I try to show it. I try to express it, and also. Um, <clears throat> I know my uh, offensive linemen, they, they love it. They love it when I jump up and I give them a headbutt and stuff like that. Try to juice these guys up, man. It's just, it's just one of those things where I'm grateful to, you know, even touch the football and to even more grateful to get in the end zone. When did you feel like you most like started getting the goal in this game? Um, I, felt it, I felt it at the beginning. Yeah, I, I knew I knew what was at stake. My offensive line knew what was at stake. This whole team, we we playing for keeps. It doesn't matter. It's the playoffs. It's time to go. Whoever riding, we riding. Whoever not, they got to go. And everybody in this team, in this locker room, they riding. You mentioned your offensive line. Just, Pete said that was the best they've run blocked maybe all year. How, how to look from your vantage point? Um, we was in sync. We gel together pretty good, and uh, I'm so I'm so I'm so proud of those guys because we got some new guys in there. We got some young guys in there, and, uh, and for them to take on this challenge, it, they, they did a, a phenomenal job. And I'm so proud of those guys, and I just can't wait to get back to practice with those big fellas, man. Because we, we can only grow, we can only get better. Now, so your sequence, when you're running the ball consistently like that, you talk about your offensive line. What's it like in the huddle? Are they kind of like? Let's keep rolling. We're feeling it right now. We're whipping those guys up front. What was your mind? Actually, it's kind of silent in the huddle. We got this thing where we just give each other a look. We just look each other in the eyes. It's it's a whole different connection. It's more to it than just running the play, going out there, throwing touchdowns, running touchdowns, run blocking. It's deeper than this. It's something that I can't necessarily put into words. You know, I can't I can't verbally tell you, but it's a feeling. It's a um, it's a real connection. You know that you gotta have and you gotta maintain. And that's why previous weeks when things were uh, tough with us, I still gotta trust them. That's man's time. When God's time, oh man. Anything can happen. Anything. Does the cross have any extra special meaning because that team was from Detroit and that's where you obviously grew up in that area? And 
Excuse me? Does he get this performance for you have any extra special meaning? Because that was the Detroit Lions. Um, well, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, um, it, it was it was kind of sweet, you know, just growing up, you know, back in uh, Flint, Michigan, and you know, uh, the Detroit Lions is the hometown team. But um, you know, it, it doesn't matter who who's in front of our in, in front of us. We, we're going we, we we trying to knock them down, and um, it did it did you know feel kind of special because I know it's a lot of people back home, you know, watching the game and stuff like that, and and um, I'm glad I can put a smile on their face too. But um, overall, man, we we handling business right now. We on the hunt. We 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 trying to. We trying to go as far in the championship run. We trying to see where, wherever it leads us, and just and just deal with the result whenever it comes. Excuse me. Did you grow up rooting for the Lions? Um, actually, I never truly had a favorite team growing up. Uh, you know, NFL teams growing up. I like certain players, but never had a favorite team. You know, I hope they don't uh, take that kind of personally. Were there some conflicted football fans in Flint this week? You think? I think so. I think so. I didn't hear about him too much, but um, I just got uh, off the phone with one of my closest friends, Elena Whitby. Uh, he was just telling me, you know, a lot of people just blowing them up and stuff like that. But overall, there are a lot of Detroit Lions fans back there, so um, I'm not sure how they're going to take it. Is it kind of bittersweet? Is it a good thing, bad thing? One of those deals. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to next week. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, the thing about Marshawn, I can say with me, uh, we come from similar backgrounds. So uh, it, it's certain things that that we may do and say or or act um, in in a way where we understand each other. So I think that connection with me and him is is is, is was really over the top when I first met him, and, and I think that's where we really got close. You know, um, but overall, I mean, it just it's football. We've been we've been doing this our whole life, you know. But when you but whenever you're in the backfield and you're a runner, you got to have a whole different level of toughness. Sometimes you got to leave your mind and your body. Sometimes don't don't nothing matter but that but that play. Every every time, every play, just keep pounding it. And um, and then I think you know, who can last the longest? Can you truly endure that much pain? Because everybody out there hurting, who the last one to give up? I feel like you'd be ready to take 27 more carries next I'll do whatever I got to do to contribute to this team. I want a championship. I've been waiting my whole life for this. I wasn't here last year. I broke my ankle. I was sitting on the couch, had my leg up. I told myself, when I got to this point, oh, man, I'll do whatever I got to do for it. Anything doesn't matter. Thomas, I saw I saw Pete uh, while you were sitting down in your locker come over and give you a hug and say something to you before he left. What, what was his message? What you know what? Point? He was just so excited just to see me happy and just to see us win. And also, you know, just how we did it. We did it on the ground. We the identity that we always try to maintain is, you know, running the ball. We want to run hard, tough. No, we want to run it. And, and, and that's exactly what we did. So when we chewed our, our identity and th things of that nature, you know, it, it feeds the crowd. It feeds the offense. It feeds the, uh, the uh, special teams, you know. And that's one thing we want to maintain and carry out uh, through the rest of this journey. Yeah. Else, guys? Uh, you got banged up a little bit on a run down the right hand side when after the play. What exactly? You know what? Um, if I could remember, I would tell you. But uh, <laughs> out of those 27 carries, man, um, each one was hard. You know, each one was hard. And um, I'm not sure exactly the run that you're talking about, but I'm, uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'll be fine. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll be pretty fine. But um, overall, man, it's football. We're gonna, we're gonna have nicks and bruises. People out here, you know, we playing for keeps, just like them. They grown man too. They trying to hurt me. I'm trying to hurt them. Vice versa. It's, the, it's a part of the game. We know it's at stake. So um, that's really it. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thank you.